assalam alaikum i am abu gafzal and i will tell you how you can get data from html uh, as you know that html data can be stored in different types of sources such as local file and a string and it can be a url of uh, some website from where we can, we want to get data so in this video we will see how we can get data from these sources uh, to do this first of all we have to make a document class uh, depending on the type of then like we see here if the input is a string uh, string of an html then we just need to pass the html string as a parameter to the method basic dot pass and after that we can get our desired data by using this uh, document object so let's see if the input type is a file if the input type is a file then there are three parameters that can uh, that we can pass to the dot parse function the first one obviously will be the file object and the second one will be the character set of the file and third one is optional uh, for basic purposes only two math two parameters can be used which we have used here and uh, now i can tell you if you want to get data from a html file then you have to do these two, two steps first first one is you have to make the object of that file and second one is is you have to make the document uh, object so now let's see if that input type is a url for a url you need to use the jsup.connect method and uh, once the connection succeeds it will return the object and you can use that object to get the desired data so these are the things you have to know before coding now let's do an example and see if our our code runs or not let's create a new project in netwings and which will be the java java project and Whatever you want. First of all, we have to import the library which we have created in our last video. So go to libraries and click here add library. Click here import and find your library. This is the library which we have created in our, in our last video. So click on import library, click on add library and that's how our library is imported in our new project. Click ok. So first of all we have to create the document class like I told you before. import the class document connect and we need the get method and we have to give the URL here HTTP Google.com <coughs> Now we will get some basic data from uh, this URL uh, like, like the title of uh, like the title of this URL string equal to dot dot add a function return the outer
what we have done here we have created a uh, document object by passing the url and uh, we want to get the title of that url and we want to print that url into form now let's run our project and see if we can get the title of uh, google.com in our console or not as you can see here we got the title of uh, this url in our console here and let's change our url and see what happens uh, like facebook.com let's run again as you can see here we got the title of facebook.com in our console so that's how you can connect to a url and get the basic data as we get the title in our project in the next video we will see how we can get all the URLs in our console from an HTML page